Hello, thanks for watching this video. How is sustainability matters? This topic is EQC9, Indoor Environmental Quality Credit 9. Acoustic performance. This is the last credit of Indoor Environmental Quality. Let me display a rough comparison between EQP3 and this EQP, EQC9. This applies to all of the BD plus C projects, not just for schools. Let's start with the section one, HVAC background noise, HVAC heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. NSI standard, American National Standards Institute, but here is as for its type 1 precise and type 2 general purpose. These are different from EQ prerequisite 3. Then actually, this is the same as in EQP3. American Society of Heating, Refrigerating, and Air Conditioning Engineers. AHRI Air Conditioning, Heating and Refrigerating Institute Again, not the AHRI in League of Legends Second section, Sound Transmission STC stands for Sound Transmission Class or you may see other stuff, its name is SRI, Sound Reduction Index. They are very similar to each other. It means how well the wall partition reduce sound transmissions. And based on different types of buildings, let's uh, that's the table. Let me display on the screen. Maximum STC should be 45 to 60. Then number three section, reverberation time. That means your sound reduce 60 decibels. NSI standard T60 at different hertz. Let me display a table. And number four section, sound reinforcement and masking systems. This applies to those large conference rooms or auditorium that contains more than 50 seats. STI is Speech Transmission Index. It's a measure of the speech, speech transmission quality. Then CIS, Common Interlocability Scale. This is a method for ranking articulation based on a mathematical relation with STI. The STI needs to be 0.6 or more. The CIS needs to be 0.77 or more. Since it's reinforcement, it requires the minimal sound level reach 70 decibel, A weighted decibel. Maintain sound level coverage within plus or reduce 3 this bell at 2000 Hz throughout the space. For the masking systems, design label may not exceed 48 A weight this bell. Okay, I believe I mentioned the A weight already. A weighted sound pressure label. Okay. There are more miscellaneous requirements for schools and healthcare. For schools, the HVAC background noise 
in EQP3 prerequisite 3, minimal acoustic performance, it, its requirement is 40 A weighted decibel. But here, EQC9, acoustic performance, the requirement is 35 A weighted decibel. And exterior windows, STC sound transmission gas should more than 35. I believe I explained that already, STC. Uh, yeah, sound transmission glass. And for healthcare, there are two options. Option one is speech privacy, sound isolation, and background noise. Option two is acoustical finishes and site exterior noise. However, I will not explain that here you may check the lead reference guide or credit library if you would like to thanks for watching this video have a nice day bye bye